Hello, this is Chris Crow, um, and this is a demo video for the Lazy Town game that I have been creating um, using the Game Maker game engine. Um, if you're not familiar with it, Lazy Town is a television show, so this game is based off of that. Um, yeah, it is a 2D side scroller, platformer, shooter, so there's a lot of stuff going on. So if you've never played this before, probably the first place you're going to is instructions. And here are the seven buttons that you can press in the game. It's not incredibly complicated. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll get started here. Uh, you can pick your mode of difficulty. Right now, uh, normal mode is the only one activated. Um, the rest of them will be activated kind of in the very, very end parts of the development cycle. Um, so we start out in a kind of introductory level um, that has kind of just a little event that goes on here that... Uh, gives you an idea of what the backstory is and what the game's going to be about. So here's your main character, Stephanie. And right now we are outside the town, so we were kind of in the barren plains of Lazy Town. And right up here we meet the mayor. And a little dialogue happens. None of it is necessarily final. Some of it is a little bit strange. So right up here, we are given the first weapon of the game. It's a baseball bat. Um, and this kind of dialogue box that pops up here is only a placeholder. Um, it is kind of the uh, default box that the engine provides, but I don't like it at all. It does not fit with the game, so that will be changed. But uh, yeah. And you're able to swing it around and defeat any enemies in your wake. So now on to the first official real level. And there's a little event that goes on here that uh, shows that these pitfalls exist. And the reason that this exists is because uh, a lot of the playtesters were uh, finding them to be non-intuitive and were always dying um, their first time playing because they didn't know that these existed. So I made that just uh, as an example to, s to show that, oh, these exist and you will die if you go and fall on them. But I don't like it. I don't like the way that it turned out. So I will be doing something else. But that is how it is right now. So you navigate your way around this destroyed town, and you collect uh, sports candy, which in the world of Lazy Town means fruits and vegetables, and uh, destroy any robots that you find. We're collecting apples right now so far. Down here, this, these kind of green things are durians. Oops. They are, you know, kind of spiky, spiny fruits, which will make a little bit more sense when you learn what they're for. Yep, so some of these fall. Um, it's non... There, it randomizes um, each instance of the game, which, which of the windowsills will break away. Not these ones, but uh, yeah. So there's another enemy. This one's a ranged enemy. So really kind of have to get up right in his face to do any damage here. There we go. Oop. Conveniently, I just happen to know where all of these sports candy is in this town. Who knew? It's almost like I made this. Oh, or we've also been collecting grapes. Um, yep, so that's the third, and you just saw the watermelon, which is the fourth, and so far last piece of sports candy that you can collect. May add a fifth. I'm not sure. But uh, right now, I feel like everything is pretty well well rounded. We'll just take the hit there. So here's kind of where the game really begins um, when you get the sports candy cannon here, which is the weapon that is used to fire each of the different kinds of ammunition. 
Um, so there's another uh, ugly dialogue box. And uh, checkpoint reached as it says. So you can uh, uh, go through the ammo with the alt key. Oh, I just fired that accidentally. There's the watermelon. Uh, it acts kind of like a grenade, like a grenade launcher. If you want to go back to the bat, you can hit control. But generally, there's really no reason to unless uh, you are really in a bind and have lost all ammo for some reason. Um, so the apple is kind of your catch-all ammo, just like a little bullet. Oh, hit a, hit a robot down there. The uh, durian is a little bit like a shotgun. And the grapes are a little bit like a machine gun. So instead of having all these different weapons, you have one weapon with different kinds of ammo. Okay. Oh no. There's all kinds of goodies up here, so I really kind of want to make sure that I don't trap myself. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Those kind of situations like this where the durian is uh, really kind of outshines the rest. And you can hit multiple enemies at once for one, one piece of ammo. Oops. Oh well. Yeah, the watermelons are kind of rare, so it is unfortunate that I have already kind of wasted two. Oh well. Oh, and I just gained uh, 10,000, a total of 10,000 score, so I just uh, got an extra life. Not sure. Oops, I died. Well, back to the last checkpoint. Anyway, that extra life is now gone to waste. Oh well. Anyway. So yeah, unfortunately, ammo doesn't come back here once, you're, once you've used it. It is gone. I have to be kind of extra frugal now. And of course, if you reach zero lives, there's a kind of a whole sequence that happens where you uh, get resurrected and continues and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, it's a big deal. Probably won't show it in the video because it you know, takes a long time and I'd have to go back to the start of the level and yada, yada, but... Just so you're informed, that does exist. Yes. Okay. So here is the mini boss of the level. It's a soccer bot. It will shoot uh, soccer balls at you at decreasing intervals, so it'll get faster and faster. Um, if you go down to his legs here, if you're out of ammo, you can start beating him with the bat. But he sh spawns his little bombs here, so it's not really a good idea. Not really an efficient way to do things. Well, I can take him out with all my watermelons pretty easily here. And that is the end of the first level here. And so far the only level. So this is a little dialogue box that pops up that gives you an extra score based on your time bonus. As you saw, I just got another life, and since I collected all the sports candy in the level, I uh, unlocked the theoretical bonus level that does not yet exist, but will in the future. And so yeah, that is the end of things for now. So now the credits roll. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this. I do intend to continue developing this game in the future. Um, it's just kind of a matter of time, really. Most of the credits here are for music, um, because uh, while I can't take credit for the original compositions, I did kind of recreate all of this using 8-bit um, sounds, 
but the original compositions uh, all belong to Mr. Mounties Feverson, so I wanted to give him credit for that. So yeah, that is the end of the demo so far. Once again, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you for my next game.